morning friends, Eric here. Today is Friday, August 16th, 2024. I'm out here working with Jake this morning. Once again, every morning, I come out here and work on Jake's walking skills. And yeah, he, he's coming along, he's getting a lot better. He's learning, but it's still a struggle. He's still not where I want him to be as far as walking, but you know, it's just, it's a lot of patience. It's consistency, just never letting him do that. Whenever he does that, he gets corrected. It's not that I don't want to want him smelling the ground or anything, or, you know, because he can smell the ground like so, as long as he's not dragging me to the place that he wants to go, you know. As soon as he starts dragging me somewhere, I have to stop him till he learns that he doesn't drag me where he want where he wants to go. Yeah, he, he can he can, you know, casually walk over there, or, you know, walk over there, you know, nicely without dragging me. Then I'll let him sniff. But if he if he insists on dragging me, I'm not going to allow him to sniff. But yeah, see. I'm working on him to get him where I want him. He's walking a lot better, but I don't want him walking right where he's at right now. I want him to stay right by my side. So every time he starts walking out in front of me, I have to stop him, turn around. See, that's where I want him to walk. But I need, you see, he wants to go and turn around and walk the other direction, but I'm going to make him walk this way until he starts walking right and we'll stop when when i stop i want him to stop right next to me exactly when i stop so then i'll walk this way a little bit and stop he stops that's good so then when we start walking in the normal direction that we've got he wants to go getting him to stay there more and then i stop see how he walks a little bit ahead of me that's, that, that's still what, what I'm working on. I want to keep him like right in this zone where he's at right now. When I stop, I want him to stop immediately. Like right next to me. And looking at me for for guidance. Like what you know, what do you want me to do? What do you, where, where are we going? So yeah, it's it's just unbelievable how much patience and consistency and you know just sticking with it and just, you know, you want to give up, but, you know, then you start seeing, you know, it took me about almost two months before I started really getting some results with him, you know, a three-year-old dog trying to really basically break him down and start him all over again in training, and he, ha he has had training, but I don't know how much leash training he's actually had, but yeah, I'm working on that every day. We do this, we go through this routine. I have time to do it right now. And working on other things like his, his, uh, you know, traffic, traffic, lunging at cars. Um, you know, I've tried a lot of different approaches to work on that. And my, my latest approach that I, it seems to be almost working, it's starting to work is I just have to get very, very physical with him. I have to really grab him, hold him, lift his legs up off the ground. And now I'm using a, I'm yelling at him real loud. When he goes to lunge at a car, I yell, no, like really super loud so that he, you know, he, he puts his attention on me. So I'm going to keep trying it. Every time he lunges at it, I grab him by the, with my hand on his, Uh, harness there. I'll grab his harness and yell, you know. But if I, I'll grab his harness, and if he doesn't show any sign of lunging at the car, I say, "Good boy, Jake. Good boy." But as soon as he starts, as soon as he starts making a a motion that he's going to lunge at a car, I yell at him as loud as I can, so that his attention comes to me. 
it. So we'll see if that works. You know, it's, uh, I've tried a lot of things over two months. Mostly, mostly just tried jerking on them, and uh, it's just it's a battle. So I'm working on that. Another thing I'm working on with him is, you know, dog aggression. He's still showing, you know, he's still he's still aggressive towards dogs. And now my new approach with that is as soon as he starts showing aggression towards a dog, I grab him and just pin him down. Just pin him down on the ground and hold him there. Just hold him there until he relaxes. You know, or the other option is as soon as he starts showing aggression, I just try to instantly remove him from the situation. And then when he, when he relaxes, you know, bring him back into the situation and try to, try to, uh, you know, let him get back, look at, look at the other dog again. And, and if he acts nice, you know, I'll let him, I'll let him be in the area with the other dog. But as soon as he starts showing signs of aggression, I'll either pin him down on the ground till he relaxes or take him outside again, take him away from the situation. And so, you know, I'm working real hard with the dog because I want to create the dog that I want, you know, and he's not the dog that I want. So it's going to take me to make it to, to create that dog. And, you know, I want, I want a dog that I can bring around other dogs and I can trust him not to be, to get aggressive, you know, and that's, that's going to be real tough to do. You know, it's, it's going to take a lot of work and I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if it's even possible, but I'm going to give it my best effort, man, because I want to, you know, I want this dog to have a great life. He's only three years old, you know, and it's not, you know, like I said, it's hard to teach a new dog new tricks. Old dog new tricks. Three years old is not old, but he's, you know, he's pretty much set a lot of ways. He's set in his ways, and it's just now I got to break him back down, kind of like they do in the military. <laughs> They break people down and then they rebuild them and to the soldier that they want. And so yeah, I'm gonna keep working with Jake. It's been almost nine weeks I've had him, and we'll see how it is. I think in I'm hoping to build the perfect dog in six months. We'll see if I can do it. Anyway, that's my Jake training. Oh. Okay, you can go over there now. My Jake training update here, and I'll keep updating you guys because it's, I think it's kind of interesting. How, you know, it's, it's, it's not just training great, it's, tra it's, I'm learning how to train. I'm training myself, is what, you know, that's what the disc dog whisperer says, right? Loving dogs and training people. <laughs> that's what it really is. People that have bad dogs are... They got no one to blame but themselves because they're just lazy dog owners and they don't want to put in the effort that it takes and be consistent with the dog. You notice if I'm consistent with him, you know, I, every time he, he does something I don't want, I have to correct him, you know, and that, that way he knows that's the only way he's ever going to know. No matter how much, how much work it takes, you have to continue to be consistent and just not give up anyways that's what i wanted to talk about today with the j training video and yeah i think if i just keep keep working we're gonna we're gonna create the perfect dog here anyways thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys soon so far but we're still pretty far back Jake. Okay. 
grab him by his harness. No, no. Easy. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Good, Jake. He didn't react to that truck. Hopefully my approach might be working. He didn't react to that car. Normally, he see, recently he would have done that. But I think my approach is starting to work. So, grabbing him, lifting him up, and yelling as loud as I can. Take his attention off of the cars going by. And uh, that's one, you know, that I had to try something different because what I was doing just was not working. I thought maybe just, you know, uh, consistency of walking on the highway every single day. You think, you know, he'll get, he'll get used to the cars going by. But at nine weeks, he still hasn't. But this morning was the first time I tried the approach of yelling real loud. And you saw that. Two cars went, two cars went by and he didn't really react to them too much. So here comes another truck. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, I'm gonna grab him here. Be, be very relaxed. Take note. Take note. He didn't. Re he didn't react too much to it. So yeah, I think the approach is starting to work. So yeah, just thought I would show you guys how I'm dealing with Jake and. Man, if I can get him cured from this lunging at cars, that's that's another big step in the right direction. Right, here comes one more. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. No, no! Yeah, he reacted that time. Uh, not as bad as he, he used to. 